I personally can't eat steak or, you know, four-legged mammals, but... <laughs> yeah, that's fine if you do. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like that is a conversation. And that, for me, when I talk about animals and eating them, and it's it brings up a lot of feelings that I'm noticing in my body. And maybe for you, there are too also feelings, or maybe there aren't, or... I'm just gonna kind of switch to talking about myself for a minute, but... There's a lot of anxiety that comes up for me. There's a lot of like... Yeah, like tightness in my chest. Um, sort of fear and, and and also like pushing away and fighting or resisting is is it you know the, the thought of the process of the life and death uh, something about I'm hearing this noise that's not sure what that is and whenever we have these experiences where we hear something and we don't know what it is, it's like my mind, at least, is so quick to want to know what it is. What object is causing that? Is it... Obviously, that was some kind of machine. Some kind of man... Okay, it's a man-made machine. All right. Probably not a rocket launcher. It's probably not a tank. It's probably not... I don't know. Someone destroy... What is that, though? Oh, it's some kind of truck with some kind of... Anyway, <laughs> gotta know. I gotta know what it is. Why? Curiosity? I feel like I'm getting really pointed in my experience now. Like, just the thought of eating animals or eating four-legged mammals has now brought me into a space where the energy of that is still, like, I'm still fighting it. I'm still pushing it away and I'm like suddenly being distracted by noises and worrying about these things like because I'm feeling anxious about that thought and it's such a charged topic um, I feel the need to say things like oh well I've eaten meat before don't worry or I'm not a vegetarian or as if to I want to make sure that no one is offended that no one is put off by what I, what I feel like is a very charged topic and it's like, how do we talk about that? How do we talk about the fact that it's ugly the way that we've treated animals? It's ugly. It is not easy to look at, to be honest with you. And I feel myself becoming emotional about it because the way that I maybe, and I judge myself for being so sensitive to life, to the individual arising of life within forms, like self-contained biological flora and fauna, whatever you, I don't know what you're supposed to call that. You know what I mean? Plants, animals, that stuff. Um, so I remember when I was a child and, well, all the other boys that I was hanging out with, we used to run around in the forest. They wanted to one day just blow up frogs for some reason. Put a bomb inside of a living creature and blow it up um, which to me was not something that i thought was fun or funny or interesting in any way shape or form <laughs> so it's not that i'm opposed to death it's not that i'm opposed to taking a life when i see a natural occurrence or at least in the past i don't know about me as of now today when i used to see natural occurrences of predator-prey situations, you know, a hawk swooping up a rodent in its talons and looking at anything in my environment having to do with animals and life-death cycle and those kinds of little battles that would happen. And it all seemed fair. It all seemed natural. It all seemed okay and interesting to watch. And well, at the same time as we have to accept that human beings are part of that life cycle and factory farming of cows or chickens or whatever is all part of that because we're not separate from nature and we're how do we talk about this with in a way that is inclusive like acknowledging the fact that that is our nature and that's that's what we've chosen to do and also that it is it's not wrong 
it's not wrong to torture and kill animals in a way that uh, that is um, excess or excessive or unnecessary. Who knows? I think, look, I don't know. I just don't know. I can't be the judge of that, but I do know that I feel anxious. So I've kind of been yammering on, maybe I can edit this. I do know that I feel anxious about it. Because for me personally, knowing that I am just like those animals, I am of the same nature as those animals, of the same spirit as those animals, I could be in the consciousness of one of those animals. And to know that other conscious beings are deliberately, and of course we do this to ourselves as humans, but I'm just, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, why is this so hard to talk about? Um, it's not that it's wrong, it's just, it's hard to accept that, it's hard to accept it. And maybe in accepting it, I don't want to say that it will change because I don't want to think that it needs to change. I don't feel like I should have to force anyone to change what they're doing. Why should I? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what those people are dealing with. You can't enforce those kinds of things. You can't say, well, I don't think that you're respecting the sanctity of life in the way that I feel like is respectful or perfectly acceptable or appropriate or sacred. You can't do that. You can't enforce your feelings or your views on other people. And people maybe want to say, well, you know, that's not my problem. You know, if other people are, are, are doing that, that's not my problem. I'm not doing it. But that, that also doesn't work. You can't just say it's not my problem because it's everyone's problem. And it's not that it's a problem, but it is, it's so wrong. It feels, not wrong, it's so messed up. It's so ugly to take perfectly sentient creatures that are innocent, seemingly, of any wrongdoing. Like, we're just going to birth you and then torture you and kill you and then eat you just because we, just because, I don't know, because we want to, because we don't know what else to do. We're not sure what's going on. We can't see, we can't see the divinity in all things or, or do we actually see it and we still act that way anyway? I have no idea why. And I, I feel so strongly about it for some reason. Like, it hurts to know that we're doing that. Because I don't believe human life is any more valuable than any other creature, to be honest with you. Like, I, I, I know that's like an anti-humanist point of view, but so sue me, I don't care. I've never felt that humans were in any way more important than anything else. Um, but not that we're less important either. It's just, and you can't measure it. Like, is one human life worth 50 million fish? Like, I mean, probably. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't work. It's a whole ecosystem. So way out of my element here. Oh, I'm still feeling so anxious. Why is this making me so anxious? And why don't I want to feel that way? I just don't want to feel that way. I just want to push it away. I just want to block it out that that's happening. There is no right or wrong. Things are happening and that's all that you can say about it. It's like not something you can interfere with and change changing is happening all the time and um cha yeah and we're we're in it and we're we're just in it we're in it we're changing all the time to me it's not about finding a higher vibration or getting trapped in a lower vibration or anything like that it's just what is the widest spectrum of all the frequencies that I can resonate with my voice, with my mind? All, all vibrations, all frequencies. How do we do that?
That's what I'm interested in. When I speak, I want to speak on all, all frequencies, not just some of them, and not just the higher ones or the lower ones. I want it to be all of it. I guess I would need to be able to, first of all, be able to acknowledge all of whatever is in my own space. What I don't want to look at is how I feel about how humans act toward other life forms. I guess that's what it is, is what actually is our intention here? What is our intention for how we choose to interact with life? 